G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. So this week we're going to talk about motivation and inspiration. Uh, it's on the back of a post I threw up on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. I know I haven't been very active lately. Um, it's just life's a bit crazy, but stuff's still going on in the background. So a couple of weeks ago, I met somebody who has inspired me for a long time, um, specifically around weight, uh, weight loss and fitness. Uh, and that is Stephen Amell. So he's an actor. Uh, who plays Green Arrow in the CW Arrow series. Um, but it's not the, the character in the TV series that inspires me, it's the actor himself. He puts a lot of stuff up on Instagram and Twitter, talking about his fitness regime. Uh, he's um, very much into his martial arts and his parkour, primarily his parkour. Um, you know, and he's just, he's, he's an inspiration. He's an he's a all round nice kind of guy. So. Um, you know, it got me thinking about motivation in terms of uh, the weight loss journey and also inspiration. Uh, so that's what we're going to cover today, hopefully in 10 minutes or less. But before we get into that, if this is your first time joining me, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I release videos on a fortnightly basis every other Tuesday. I'm just talking about my personal weight loss journey, that all the tips and tricks and things that I've learned along the way in terms of uh, losing weight. I've lost, uh, what, 22, 23 kilos, so about 50 pounds. Um, since uh, Boxing Day, so in you know six odd months, um, I've actually leveled out now. I'm I'm sitting uh, at around the same weight uh, and have been now for a couple of months, uh, and that's okay. It's um it's you know not the final target, but uh, I've kind of just been able to rest here quite comfortably while I sort out some other stuff in life outside of my uh, fitness regime. But we'll actually talk about that. Uh, so if you get some news from the video, please hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, as I said, I, I release um, videos on a regular basis. Uh, check me out on Instagram or Facebook. It both contains the same content, so pick your social media channel of choice. Um, and if you want, drop me a comment. I do reply to everything that comes up on YouTube. Uh, and just before we get, the last thing I want to say before we get started is thank you very much. If you're a subscriber, your support has been hugely appreciated. We ticked over 50 subscribers for the channel uh, a few days ago, so uh, thank you very much. Um, and hopefully you're still getting use out of the videos I'm throwing up on a regular basis. So without any further ado, let's talk about motivation for, for weight loss. Um, this is a crucial topic to get right. Um, you know, really it's about having a clear understanding before you get started um, and, you know, to continuously reaffirm what is motivating you to lose weight. You need to know what your long-term goal is. Now, the best goals uh, when it comes to, to weight loss are big picture goals. They're not, hey, I need to drop five kilos um, for my girlfriend's wedding um, so that I look good in my bridesmaid's, bridesmaid's dress. Um, you know, if that works for you, fantastic. But, but in terms of, you know, if you need to lose a serious amount of weight, I don't feel like that's going to cut it. A short term goal like that uh, is going to encourage you to potentially make some basic changes. Uh, but chances are you're going to fall off the bandwagon bandwagon pretty quickly. It's not big picture. Um, you know, when you talk about what's motivating you, it needs to needs to be inspirational. It needs to continue to inspire you over a long period of time because it's going to take you a long time to lose the weight that you want to lose. You know, if you're out there to lose 30, 40, 50 pounds, um, you know, that's, that's a long-term investment of time. The only way to achieve your goals is through a lifestyle change. That's why short-term goals won't work. Um, you know, the other thing is a, is a diet. If you go on a crash diet or a fad diet or any kind of diet, the problem with diets is diets end. There is a goal at which point you go back to your normal, you know, eating habits. And and that's not a, if you're overweight and you're trying to lose weight, it's not a sustainable way to, to sh sh you know, get rid of that fat and keep it off. You need to make big picture changes and therefore you need to have big picture goals. You need a vision. It needs to be clear. You need to be able to see in your mind's eye, what will you look like when you attain your goal? What will you feel like? What will your health be like? What will your friends and family say to you when you've lost this weight? It needs to be crystal clear in your mind how you are going to feel and look. You know, it needs to be a sensory experience that you have to hang on to. That's the vision. That's what motivates you long term. When you think about it, you know, healthy weight loss, you're going to be losing one to two pounds a week. So if you need to lose 30 pounds, or if that's your goal, that's 15 weeks. That's, 
not, you know, you need to find something that's going to keep you motivated for 15 weeks. That's every single day for 15 weeks. That's not, I've got my friend's wedding in a couple of weeks and I need to drop five pounds. You know, the only way that you are going to stay motivated for that period of time is to have a very clear vision in your mind as to why you're doing it. Why, what, you know, what makes it worth the sacrifices that you may have to make in order to change your lifestyle. At the end of the day, the only way to, to sustainably lose weight and keep that weight off is to change the way that you live your life, change your lifestyle. Those are big changes. You're making a conscious decision when you start your journey on weight loss um, to, to you know, make changes to, you, to your lifestyle, make changes to your eating habits, go to the gym on a regular basis. Those are conscious choices at the start. But what you need to do is to retrain your subconscious. Your subconscious is quite comfortable at the current weight. It's quite comfortable eating whatever you're eating today because your subconscious kind of, you know, it's it's what it's the the momentum in a in a normal forward direction that you would have when you're not thinking about what you're doing, when you're not actively trying to make a change. So, the only way to sustainably lose weight is to retrain your subconscious so that it's operating on a on a trajectory that's going to lead to weight loss without you consciously having to think about it. Now, you know, that takes more than a couple of days or a couple of weeks even of, of thinking about, hey, I need to stop eating chocolate or I'm going to skip dessert or I'm going to lower my portions. Those are conscious choices. But when you stop making conscious choices, you settle back into your default, you know, zombie mode and that's your subconscious mind. And that's what we have to retrain in order to sustainably lose weight. That's why having a crystal clear vision in your mind as to what you're doing and why you're doing it how you're going to feel when you attain that, that's what's going to motivate you long-term. You need to have that vision in your head. You need to go and write it down. You need to think about it for five minutes every night before you go to bed or first thing in the morning to reaffirm that goal, to reaffirm that motivation, to keep driving you forward. Now, things to remember, your first month will be your hardest. In terms of retraining your life, you know, you're, you're making fundamental changes. Eating is a fundamental part of our existence. And, you know, and I've had this conversation before about cigarettes um, because I am a smoker and, and that addiction is very strong in me and a lot of other people. But, but food can be an addiction. And it's one of those subconscious addictions where you don't have to think. You will eat anyway. You will also, when you go to eat, you will naturally gravitate towards the choices you generally make. That's your subconscious mind making those decisions. It is hard to challenge that on a daily basis. You need to continuously, consciously make the right decisions for an extended period of time. And the first four weeks is going to be the hardest. You know, I've said time and again that 70%-ish of weight loss happens in the kitchen, not in the gym. That means that most of your decisions, your conscious decisions that are going to lead to sustainable weight loss, you'll be making in relation to food, not exercise. So that's where you really need to challenge yourself. So in terms of staying motivated, that first four weeks is going to be the hardest. So if you get to the second or third week and you feel like you're on the edge of falling back into old habits, just remind yourself, I'm almost through the worst of it. If I can get to the four week period, everything gets a lot simpler. And I, hopefully you can't hear that, but there's actually a siren in the background. I'm sorry if you can. So, you know, it's not easy straight after the first month. That's not what I'm saying, but I am saying it's considerably easier because you're at a point where you're your conscious decisions are starting to retrain your subconscious. You are making a change in your psychology, the way that you think, the, the decision-making process you go through when you don't realize you're making a decision. You tend to gravitate towards more healthy whole food choices rather than refined processed crap that you might have been eating in the past. Now, after the first four weeks, things do get easier, but it's important to bear in mind that it takes about nine weeks of constantly doing something to form a habit. And that's ultimately where we wanna to get to. We want to make a lifestyle change that means that you have healthier eating habits. Habits are things, again, all about training, retraining the subconscious. Habits are things that you do when you don't think about what you're doing. It takes about nine weeks to form a habit. So if you can focus one day at a time, one step at a time on making the right conscious decisions for a nine week period, it becomes a habit, it's easy. Unless you, you know, you really fall off the bandwagon badly. I'm not saying that people can't relapse after they've formed a healthier habit. But the hardest part about weight loss on a, say, a six-month program 
is forming that habit in the first nine weeks. It's harder in the first four, and then after nine, you, you should notice things get a lot easier and a lot simpler. The other thing is keep keep things, you know, keep in your head one day at a time. Um, you know, to use a food analogy, and it's probably not the best analogy, but, but the old saying, how do you eat an elephant? One mouthful at a time. It's very true when it comes to weight loss. You need to focus on one day at a time. If you think about, well, I'm, I'm, I have to go to the gym today and I have to go again in a couple of days time and I have to make sure that I go three times this week and I have to make sure I go every week for the next six months. It very quickly becomes overwhelming and that's a great way to demotivate yourself. When you start to think about, crap, I'm standing at the base of a mountain looking up at this mountain and I have to get to the top, that's going to freak you out. That's likely to cause anxiety for, for those of us who have bad habits or have an addiction to food or deal with life stress by eating, that's just going to exacerbate that issue. So really it's about focusing on one foot in front of the other to get up that mountain. That's one day at a time. And it also means that if you do fall off the ban, if you do fall off the wagon for a day, you have a bad eating day, maybe you go out with your friends, you have a few too many drinks, you eat a bunch of crappy food, you have a kebab at the end of a bender. Um, don't punish yourself because when you go to bed that night, you think about and you reaffirm your visions and your motivations and you wake up that next day, it's a whole new day. You get a new you know, injection of energy into your weight loss journey. You wake up fresh. The past is the past. You can't change that. The only thing you're in control of right now is what you're going to do today to get back on track. Don't punish yourself. Focus on one day at a time. Keep walking in a forward direction. Um, and maintain that vision of where you will be by the time you finish your weight loss journey. That's what I've got to say on motivation. Hopefully that helps. Um, that's all I've got time for today. So if it, if it did help, please hit that like button and let me know that it's useful information. Um, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see videos from me on a regular basis. Drop me a comment if you've got anything to say, anything constructive to add. Other people read the comments that you leave on my videos. So if you have something constructive to add about motivation as it pertains to weight loss, please drop that comment there, even if it's not directed at me. Um, hopefully somebody else can be inspired by something that you've said in addition to hopefully inspiring you through this video. Um, so, you know, like the video, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment. I will reply to you if you do. Uh, and I will see you in a couple of weeks time. Thanks for watching.